individuals that are at the top of their game are usually very carb tolerant, but that doesn't mean that it's optimal. So I think uh, my belief is that if you train in a mildly, you know, glycogen deficient phase, then you're adapting your body for metabolic flexibility, where you have greater access to your body's own fat stores, but also burning the fat that you're eating in your diet too. And I think a higher fat diet, lower carbohydrate diet, you know, normalizes and stabilizes insulin, which gives you more steady fuel fl flow throughout. And during game time or go time, you might want to titrate the carbohydrates back in. During training, train low, train in a carbohydrate sort of low insulin state, and that will adapt your body to be metabolically flexible. And then when you engage in competition, and you want to experiment before you actually engage in competition, you titrate the carbohydrates in a very calculated and strategic way and assess and basically use the carbohydrates or the glucose or glucose polymers or whatever as a performance enhancing substance. 